Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do a scan on your BMW using IMPA. Uh, it's very simple. I've got the BMW E90. I've got loads of lights on the dash. I just want to read what they are. I do already know, but I'm just going to show you. Um, so all you're going to need is IMPA software and an IMPA compatible OBD. So let's get that plugged in and I'll show you what I do next. Once you've plugged in your OBD and you've put your key in the ignition but not started the car, just turn the ignition on, you will see one of three things. The fact that the battery's on, the program is running and the ignition is on. Mine's flashing but it is on. So to do a very basic diagnostic test on IMPA, all that you'd need to do is select your model of car from the menu. So mine's F9 because I'm in an E90 and press functional jobs. Once you've done that, all that you need to do is press F4, 4, yep, and then read error memory. So this will show you all your, all your errors that you've got stored. So I've got quite a lot. I do know what they are. So there's mine. So to clear them, it's very simple. All that you need to do is press F2, which is clear error memory. So once it's cleared, that's it. That is literally it. And you can go back onto the menu and you can press F4 for error memory and then read again to make sure they have all cleared. Um, I've got two on, which is seatbelt and these are my brake wear sensors. They aren't going to go off. Um, because I do need to change the sensor but that is all that you need to do to do a very simple diagnostic scan using IMPA I hope that helps somebody because I struggled when I first got IMPA so I hope that helps you thank you very much